<laughs> yeah, so anyway, Henry, it's a big wall, and it's really, uh, it's a, it's a good wall. It's a good size, and, uh, you know what? As a matter of fact, it's great. <laughs> Cheesiest intro I have ever done, and that's saying something. The Great Wall, it stars Matt Damon, Willem Dafoe for some reason, and a bunch of Chinese people, and it's directed by somebody, Emo, something that I shouldn't even pronounce the name because I'm just gonna get it wrong. And he's directed Hero and a lot of other Chinese martial arts type of movies. And it's a movie about Matt Damon being in China, at the Great Wall of China, and it's all based around this old, you know, myth of the Great Wall of China. There's like real stories about the Great Wall of China and then there's all these tales that are told about it and this is one of those Chinese crazy insane tales that they tell. And it's basically a movie about Matt Damon that uh, for some reason is in this movie. I don't know why Matt Damon's character is in this movie. I don't know why it wouldn't just be all Chinese people just, you know, protecting the wall. But anyway, it's Matt Damon and he comes across the Great Wall of China and they're protecting it from these monsters that are invading and the whole movie is is them just trying to kill these monsters. That, like, that's pretty much all this movie is. And it's it's actually a pretty entertaining movie. Not great, because I'll tell you why. It's, uh, it's a little bit cheesy, and I feel like the movie doesn't know that. The movie is kind of a little bit too serious for its own good. Like, I feel like it somewhat knew its tone, but I felt like it was a little bit too serious when it should have just been straight cheese. It should have been, like, just over the top and insane. I feel like it didn't embrace that enough, especially with, like, Matt Damon. I like Matt Damon a lot. I think he's really great. But in this movie, for some reason, he wasn't that great. Like, he really was kind of not good in this movie, even, at some times. Like, he was great in the action scenes. The action scenes in this movie are probably the best part of the movie. They were pretty entertaining, fun to watch, you know, fun enough. They looked pretty good. But any time that there wasn't action going on, Matt Damon would, like have this weird delivery with lines and like the dialogue sometimes was like horrendous, like hilariously horrendous sometimes. The movie was like so serious and Matt Damon was like giving this weird like delivery that I, like it, it made the movie like funny in a way that I don't think it was trying to be funny in this scene but I found it funny. So it had that going for it. It had a really fast pace which is like good because I feel like the movie could, really could have been slowed down a lot, but they just went for a fast pace. It was a short movie, and that was good for like the action scenes because you get to the action scenes fast. But besides the action scenes, there's not much of a story here. Like I said, it's really just them fighting these monsters and then random scenes of like, oh, this person died. Okay, Matt Damon's talking to this person. Oh, okay, he's talking to the girl now. Oh, okay, we're back to the action. It, it, the movie was all over the place, and it would just jump and jump and jump, and it was really fast-paced and like... Like I said, it's all about the action, so that was good getting to the action, but all the other scenes, I was like, this is all just so random, like, and, and I didn't really, like, care at all what was going on with anybody else. Uh, Matt Damon's friend in the movie, like, his, like, his ally or whatever, I liked him. I thought any time that they had dialogue together and, like, they had anything going on, that was my favorite part besides the action, because, like, he was funny, and I thought he did a great job, like... Uh, getting the tone right, but Matt Damon, I don't know what it was. He just was not in the right movie. Like, he, like he was in a different movie, I felt like. So, yeah, Matt Damon kind of brought this one down a little bit, which is weird to say because you would think he'd be the best part. And he was in the action scenes, but all the other scenes, I was like, Matt Damon's really going with a weird performance here. But, uh, yeah, The Great Wall is an okay movie. I didn't hate it by any means. It was uh, good enough looking, like it was a good looking movie. You know, there's some cool visuals the, you know, the, the, the CGI was okay, I guess. I mean, they're monsters, like, unrealistically looking monsters, so I don't know how realistic they can make the unrealistic monsters look. But it was fun enough to watch. Not a great movie. The tone was all over the place, and the pacing was really uneven. But fun enough to watch. I wouldn't recommend going to see it. If you somehow caught it on TV, you'd be like, oh, yeah, look at that, Matt Damon. But, yeah, that's pretty much... Uh, that's pretty much all I got for this movie. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one and a half out of five for the Great Wall. You know, it's it's one of those movies. It's just one of those February movies that nobody will possibly remember that even came out. And I'll be like, oh yeah, 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 I remember Matt Damon was weird in that. that. Like that's what I'll remember from this movie. Yeah, Matt Damon was really weird in that movie. Anyway, that's that movie, The Great Wall. Uh, <laughs> 
I just got back, so I'm, you know, I'm a little rusty at this. But it's good to be back. Can't wait to review more movies. Hopefully they start getting a little bit better as the year starts cranking them out. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to review more. Hopefully some good ones soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this and you want to see more reviews from a guy like me, Tom Waterloo, then please like and share this video. Leave a comment down below. And most importantly, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.